Cartoons, the animated frontier. These are the voyages of the Cellcast podcast. It's continuing mission to explore strange new cartoons, to seek out new animation styles and new creative storytelling methods, to boldly go where so few ever go again. Welcome to another episode of The Cellcast. Reactions. Joining me today is a man who's on a search for a dragon. Welcome, Jacob. Where's that little thing? Where is it? Where is it? Why, thank you. I'd like to introduce our co-host, man who... You had to drop the orb, didn't you? Welcome, Drew. Well, I mean, how else were we going... What do you expect? Star-Lord, Gamora, and all of them were doing this big breakdance competition. What else was I going to do? <laughs> Wrong series. <laughs> is it? It's still Disney. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today, Jacob? Man, I'm doing great. I love I love the weekend. Be like, you get the day, you get the week off. Get you. Yeah. It is nice when that happens. Yes, yes, it is. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Uh, did some editing this morning. Did some catch up on uh, Tangled the series since we're gonna be jumping back on recording that soon. Mm-hmm. And uh, other than that, I've been pr- I, I have rested. I slept in. Oh, wow. I did not get out of the bed until ten. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was awake before that point, but I didn't get out of bed until 10. I woke up at... But I hadn't been able to do that in a while, and I don't count Snowvid. Ah, uh, I woke up all of a sudden at 5.30 like this morning, and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I got up around like 6.45, went and got breakfast, and then just milled around all day. Hmm. All right. So, we are reacting, of course, if you haven't figured it out yet, to Raya... And the Last Dragon. Mm-hmm. This is well. It's not the first movie we've reacted to in a theater since onward, because we did react to Tom and Jerry last weekend. That we did. But uh, this is the first time I think I've actually been excited to go to the movie theater <laughs> for a reaction right. since onward. Well, on, on one ca- on one hand, it's not just you know we're going to go see a, a, a Disney movie. Yeah. Or. It's the idea that I'm going to get to go back to a movie theater, and it's actually a big deal. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> that hasn't been the case in over a year. <laughs> almost a year. Almost. Because it has been almost a year since we did Onward. I didn't look up when that episode came out, but we're close yeah, to that. Pretty close. So, um, I know very, very precious little <laughs> mm, <okay. laughs> about this movie. I have seen one trailer, one time, and that was for our... Uh, Upcoming uh, episode, upcoming uh, sh- movies episode mm-hmm. from a, about a month ago, and I've I've intentionally tried not to pay attention to it because it's like I was already sold on it the minute I the first five seconds into that trailer, and you had been talking it up for uh, almost a year now. So yeah, I mean, roughly. I was I, I've been excited for this for a bit. So the movie has not had to do anything to sell me. I don't know what I'm in for. To be honest, because okay. I don't even know the story. I don't know what it's based on. What I know is that there's a our protagonist is a girl named Raya. She uh, apparently could team up with Tom Cruise on Mission Impossible because she's got she's there to kick. It looks like she's there to kick butt and chew bubble gum, and they haven't invented bubble gum yet. <laughs> Clever, <laughs> yes. Uh, but I mean, I, I know there's that. I know she's looks for the last dragon. Apparently finds her because the dragon, or it, I don't know if it's a him or her because I don't remember the voice, finds that last dragon because that dragon is in the trailer. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's not a scene from the very end of the movie, or if it is, it's the characters, that character's in the movie more often. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I don't know what else they could be fighting for. A girl worth fighting for? I was, that was in my (laughs) mind, but I was trying not to go there. Um, Or in this case, a dragon worth fighting for. Perhaps. And... The dragon kind of looks like it might be feminine, but I don't know. Uh, I don't even I don't even know if this is based on a st- on anything. So let me get this straight. You are basically you've seen one trailer, I've seen one trailer, and you're basically going one time. In, you're going in blind, basically, virtually blind. Okay. And well, part of the reason I'm doing this is because we did not get a trailer until we hit what uh, my window of what I call my uh, brownout. Mm-hmm. About a month before a movie comes out, I try not to pay any attention to it. Yeah. Now, 
if I go into a theater or if I'm watching something on TV and a and the trailer commercial spot comes on, I'm not going to, you know, hold my eyes closed, stick my fingers in my ears and go, la, 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 la. I'm not going to be do something that stupid. Right. I will allow myself to watch and enjoy it because I think I, I, I my level of hype does not get increased too much about seeing a trailer but once every you know, two or three weeks. I gotcha. My hype level goes up when I have done nothing but in my spare time, but watch the trailer over and over again for a month. I have learned that's not a good thing to do. No, it's not. You're for my own tra- for my own tra- uh, expectations. Mm-hmm. So when the first tra- episode, came, first trailer came out, it was right at or uh, that one month ahead of Mark. So I watched the trailer for the episode, but I haven't watched it since then. So literally, I know nothing mm. about this movie other than. It takes place. It, it's I've got a very Asian flavor to mm-hmm. it. That's what I know. Okay. So I have no expectations for this movie. Okay, I've I've seen a lot Other of. Then it's Disney, so it should at least be you know good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen every trailer. I've seen every ad. Uh, I've seen every promotion to this thing, and I'm beyond excited to watch this film. Uh, apparently, it's the first Disney film to ever be uh, produced and pro- you know produced in home due to COVID. Well, yeah, it makes and, sense. Yeah, they they put out a small little like trailer to what you know the the what they were doing, and it's very fascinating how you can you can do Skype Skype or Zoom calls for like entire months months of doing a project. And, and that's actually the only thing that worries me is since they had to make it from home, I, I I'm a little worried that maybe some stuff may not pop as well as it would have had they been able to work together in the same room. Yeah, that's my only fear. Well, we shall see. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to put that out there. No, you're good. It's a good point. Uh, there, and I am hyped for this film, like I've been saying for like the last year and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, knowing a little bit of the plot, they didn't give, they haven't given away like everything, hopefully. Um, but there again, it's one of those like every trailer you see, it's like okay, I want to be like, be like, there's more investment there in the story and. Like the the characters and the setting and everything about this movie is getting me more and more hyped, and I want to go see it. Yeah. So, uh, so it was painful to have to wait till today <laughs> when you could have gone and seen it. Exactly. Yesterday. Or Ex- every time you go on to Disney Plus, it's like mm-hmm. I could pay thirty dollars right now and yeah. have it. Yeah, but I, I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah one one of our one of our listeners, Heather, she uh, she messaged me earlier. I think it was yesterday. Uh huh. Yesterday morning, she'd be like, I just watched Raya. When are you going to watch it? <laughs> so apparently her and her family watched it on Disney+. Plus. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to go see it at theaters. And it's like, on Saturday, it's like, cool. <laughs> so um, the only thing I was excited on Friday for, besides, you know, eventually seeing this movie, was WandaVision season finale. That's oh, the main thing I, main reason I was on that Friday. Yes. But anyway. Yeah. We're, we're not here to talk about WandaVision, but yeah, it's it's good. Go watch it. Yes. I actually got to see a season finale of a show. Remind me <laughs> to mention something on the car, on, once we're in the car and heading to Tyler. Okay. Because I don't want to talk about it here. I got you. Uh, anyway, I think that's pretty much all we've got at the moment. Um, I think the only thing we can say is be like, I think we're both really excited to go watch yeah. this film. And like you said earlier, it's probably one of those films that we, it's, it's a, been a year in the making of actually going to see a movie you really excited to go watch yeah. animation wise in theaters. So, uh, yeah. well, and so many of the movies that I have been ex- that was excited to see last year, be they animation or live action, all got pushed off or I had was forced to watch it on a television. Yeah. The fact that we're actually getting to go see a movie in a theater and it's one I've been excited for. Mhm. I'm I'm just stoked at the moment. Absolutely. Ready to go uh, get get there. Mhm. And we're going to see it in uh, IMAX, right? Yeah, we're going to go see it in IMAX. Yay, that's going to be fun. I got us good seats, dead center, a little, uh, I think we're like three rows from the top row. That was the best I could do. Okay, that's good. the way AMC's got it set up. But I still got in there before a lot of the tickets were bought. Excellent. Good deal. So I think that's going to wrap up our initial section. Yeah. It's also been a long time since I've seen a movie in IMAX. So. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so join us for that, uh, or join us when we get back, and we will give our spoiler-free review reaction to it, and then go into full spoiler mode, and we are looking forward to seeing you on the other side. Yeah. Ray, we're wrong. Okay. This progress 
is part of Christian Greek Central Network. Greek Greek Central Rock Rock. Hey, Scoop, what are you doing, man? I don't know. I'm supposed to be reading an ad. All right, hold on. Give me, give me it. Okay. <laughs> All right. This podcast is part of the Christian Geek Central Network at ChristianGeekCentral.com. This show is a part of Pop Americana. For more great shows like this one, please check the link in the episode description. After a long and arduous quest, we have returned from viewing Raya and the Last Dragon. Jacob, what are your spoiler-free thoughts on that on this feature? <sighs> this is freaking amazing! <laughs> There's a spike. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow, okay. Riding back for like 30 minutes, getting back to uh, the studio. Oh my gosh, it's like like holding my tongue down with a with a very large stone. Right, <laughs> Trying right. Trying not to talk about this film. Uh, wow, oh my gosh. Um, one, like, good night, the story in this film is so incredibly well done. Uh, it, it's, I mean, like, it's, it's drawing from, uh, obviously, uh, Mid Asian, I might be mistaken. I'm not sure. It looks like there's a little bit of Hindu, a little bit of Chinese. Yeah, I'm not sure what this actually pulls from, but yeah. definitely mid Central Asia. Yeah, we'll some, say. Yeah, something like that. Like court, like freaking fight choreography in this movie is. Oh yeah, freaking fantastic and you can tell they're using different moves and the uh the layout the story the character build the uh the the dragon herself yes <laughs> oh my gosh just wow this just it's an incredible movie absolutely incredible it be I mean, like it hits you in every 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 spot emotionally be like you be like you you feel like sadness and grief mm-hmm. and uh rage and happiness and like everything every gamut of of uh, emotion is played out in this movie and it's played it's done very well and to think this was all done during uh a quarantine yeah when they weren't in the studio they were in their own homes and apparently someone forgot to turn their mute the mute back back off <laughs> oh i mean that kind of stuff happens right <laughs> well it, at least they didn't have a cat a uh a cat face on. <laughs> that is I'm true. not a cat. <laughs> that is true. This movie is incredibly Ye- well done. Yes. Oh uh, my gosh. I-, I don't know why I feel better about this one than I do Soul. I can't tell you why that is, mm. but this one I feel was ex- this one movie feels like it has more heart. Has a lot of heart. Yeah. And I don't mean that with the pun. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it's it's a fun movie. It's action packed. Yes. Uh. Raya might be my favorite Disney princess at the moment. Yeah, that's true. That is so, so true. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a fun action packed movie. If you're trying to figure out if uh you should be taking your kids to it, the answer is yes. Uh, Tuk Tuk is best psychic. <laughs> Tuk Tuk is very close. Yeah, very close. Very close. Uh, definitely best ride. Yeah, definitely best ride. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean it's done very well. It's very exciting. Uh. The ending is a little sappy, but it works. Yeah, not sure. Is the best way I know how to put that. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's a fun movie. You, sh- I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but uh, I enjoyed it. I, I am looking forward to getting another watch on it again. Yes. So I am not paying Disney Plus thirty bucks for that privilege. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a it's a good, fun, enjoyable movie. Great fight choreography, like you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it feels like Disney's anime. You want to get right down to it <laughs> in some ways. In, in some regards, yes. But yeah, I mean, it's it's got a great story. It's got uh, it's got everything you look for in a movie. At least yes. to me it does. There might be a, a couple of spots where it's like maybe, you know, could use some polish, but not many in my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, is that about the spoiler free as we can be at the moment? Yeah, without completely gigging out. Yes. Yes. So yeah, uh, we're going to jump into the spoiler section. Uh, so if you are still debating whether or not you should go watch this movie. Go watch it now. Indeed. <laughs> On so Disney it, Plus or in theaters. Yes. Turn Preferably it, they're plus turn, in the theaters. Tr- if, turn us off. Come back when you get done watching. We will be here. 
I yes. guarantee you we will be here. Yeah. Uh, and check us out and, and uh, listen to our thoughts right after this bump, or right after this spoiler warning. The following is a spoiler filled reaction to Raya and the Last Dragon. Listener discretion is advised. So, yeah, before the movie actually starts, there's a short. Yes. Amazing. Called, uh, what was it called? Us Again. Us Again. That's actually a, admittedly, it's much like most Disney, well, like most Disney picks are short in, in, you know, more modern times. More modern times. They, there, there isn't much talking. It is all musical. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's almost like a silent movie, but I mean, it's actually done really pretty well. Uh, a lot of good sign language. I, I, there was a bit there where I was going, oh, I don't know. I, I, I feel I, I've been that old man before. I've been <laughs> the grumpy frog. <laughs> Um, I felt like dancing too. So yeah, exactly. It's it's this, this idea that like this uh, this old man who he's he's lost his spirit of dance, mm-hmm. and everybody well, in the, everybody in this the town dancing is dancing. Life. Yeah, dance dancing, of life. The, yeah, the, the dancing is life. representing life, and he's not doesn't have that that feel anymore. Yeah, he no longer has that fire or desire to right. do it he anymore. He just he just wants to be, stay home. Which I felt like before, and his wife tr- is, tries to get him out, but he just like at first is like no. Yeah, she, not gonna happen. She disappointingly leaves. Yeah, and he finally realizes what's happening. Uh, and then it starts raining. And then it starts raining. It's like, and he becomes young again, like he's full of life again. Yeah, he goes out and he happens to find her. Which at first, it's actually you're actually surprised when he stops because she's already young, young mm-hmm. at that point. And they're uh, and they start dancing, and all of a sudden the rain fit, stops. Yeah. And they're old again. Starts passing over. And then he gets scared. It's like, what if I, I lose this? Yeah. What if I become that old grumpy person again? So they he drags her back into the rain. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, and they start trying to dance again, but the rain keeps coming, so they have to keep running. Mm-hmm. Until finally, they get to the end of a pier. Well, and she lets go before yeah. they get to the end of that pier. And he keeps running, trying to chase that youngness of his life yeah but the rain keeps going and leaves him or he can't follow it and then he's old again and then he comes back and you get this nice sweet little moment where they both kind of become young again without being young again yeah they 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 fall back in love and you could in a way and i love how as that last couple scenes are there Mm -hmm. the puddle yeah on the ground it's their it's their the reflection of them in that puddle is their young selves yeah so, so they're still young. Yeah, they're 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 young they're, at heart now. Yeah, they've they've it's 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 gone from be like I've I I'm I mourn my my youthfulness. I mourn the the days I could dance all day. Mm. And uh, it's this he's he's given a second chance, but then he he finds that if if this rain goes if this rain or this of this time passes so what goes away from me, I'll no longer have it. Yeah, but he be like when it passes him by. He realizes he still has that with his wife mm-hmm. or, uh, yeah, his wife. And um, it's just this, this beautiful little story of uh, of a couple reigniting their passion for the, the love for each other and their love for dance and love for life. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a beautiful little short that just, uh, you know what it reminds me of? What? Paper Man. Yeah, it's very similar to Paper Man. Yeah, Paper Man, the, the award winning uh, short that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, wow. this, Was this, that in front of Wreck-It Ralph? I think so. Okay, I couldn't. I was trying. I've been trying to think which where Paper Man was in front of it. I think yeah. it was Record Rock. Yeah, it's it's this is just it's a beautiful little story that is like it's you be like for those who have um are no longer in you that be like I've 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 met older people that I just still have that spring in their step and they still have their that that vibrancy in them that is so palpable and uh, I think this is kind of be like you're be like even though be like time has passed you by it doesn't mm-hmm. doesn't mean that you should stop living yeah you should still almost that that almost cliche live you live life to the fullest yes and enjoy life and and not uh mourn and reminisce about the old days of how when i was young it'd be like you still have life mm-hmm. you'd be like god has not passed you by you still you still have life you still have energy and you can do great and wonderful things if you just step out yeah and dance, with or in this case, faith. Dance like no one's looking. Yeah, exactly. Like no one's else is around. Mm-hmm. Just do it. And uh, yeah, it was it was an amazing little short. Amazing. Oh, yeah. So yeah, definitely for yeah yeah definitely go see Raya and just for this short. Yeah, 
Most definitely. Okay. Holy crap! <laughs> this is such a good movie. In in in, in one word, to describe this movie: epic. Epic, yeah, yeah. M- much more epic than the movie titled "Epic." Uh, yes. <laughs> ironically, also owned by Disney now. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Don't, don't you think? think? Uh, so yeah, I, just getting into this real quickly. As I'm sure you know, because I'm sure you've seen the movie if you're listening to this part of it. Mm-hmm. We have what is essentially a journey to the West, even though it's not based on Journey to the West. Yeah. Uh, it, it has the same. We go from tail to he- foot to head. Pretty much. Collecting friends along the way who. And stones. Yes. Because you got to collect, collect your magical MacGuffins. Yes. You do. As always. Yes. Except these are actually. Th- this works as a MacGuffin. In my it opinion. does. A lot of times you run into these MacGuffins and they don't really work. They're just Agreed. an excuse. This. It's not just an excuse. They actually do need to get these things. Yes. But they're not the only things they need. What the what, what else they need in order to uh, save the world yeah. is the friends they pick up along the way. Yes. Because it, the world is not saved just because of a stone. It's saved because of the trust and friendship mm-hmm. that grow up among our... Let's see. One, two... Three. Three, four, five, six, six seven, seven people. <laughs> yeah. I have to count all three monkeys with the con baby. Uh, the con baby. Oh my gosh. What a concept for a character. <laughs> yes. I was sitting there watching. Okay. Con baby. This is a this is a throwaway joke. It's a fun little thing to show. Yeah. Hey, maybe she is right. You shouldn't be trusting everyone. And it's like, oh my goodness. my One of my favorite characters in the movie <laughs> is, a, is a baby who technically should not be able to do anything she does in this movie. That is so and yet, true. Yeah, and of course, her first word that we actually hear her say is Shisu, the dragon's yeah, name. Yeah. Shisu. Like, <laughs> you know what? That works. That yes. works perfectly. <laughs> oh, spe- speaking Captain of... Captain Boone. He's a fun character. Captain Boone is hilarious. Yes. Uh, Shisu uh, is hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 at the beginning, it, I was a little, I wasn't sure, but she grew on me yeah. as time went on. She's got that kind of vibe to her. I am still curious what her actual magic is, because swimming real good, I don't count. Well, when to, you know, go further, I mean, go further in the film. Other when than she, she's the glue of, she, she's got the, she, she's the glue of both her original dragon family and mm. the, uh, the family she the, adopted. The, yeah. The Raya family. The Raya family. So kind of going into that, like when uh, Shizu is is killed accidentally. And oh, good. Nice. Like they didn't actually just do that. Yeah. You you killed the last dragon. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> and yet I knew I knew what was happening. It's like, no, no, no. This is required because this is what's actually going to bring about redemption. Yes. Eventually. <laughs> yes. And the, and the fact to be like, the last dragon was holding all the water together and it all yeah. just went away and allowed our... And it allowed everything to go to heck. these villains like, to come, come like, to the door. And I... And it, okay, here's the thing I really like. Yeah. In most Disney films, there is at least still one character who is the big bad villain. Yeah. Even when he, they're just... There's an unrepentant villain. Yes. Even when it's nature that is the villain. Yes. Even Frozen has this because we got Han. He's still the big bad villain everybody hates, despite mm. the fact it was not about hate. Yes. It was not uh it was not about having a villain. They could have found a way to work him in and have him not be evil, but yeah. he was still the villain in that one. This one, the person you are angry at for ninety five percent of the movie mm-hmm. is the person you're most you you are the most happy to sh- see show up in the last couple minutes. True. It's like <laughs> I hate you and I love you. Mm. I hate you and I love you. <laughs> I knew you were going to come. Yes. But I hate you and I love you. <laughs> There's this interesting dichotomy with the with the uh the the two the uh the protagonist and the antagonist. Yes. With Raya and hold on, what is her name? I don't remember. Hold on. Evil Raya. Not Evil Raya. <laughs> Because that's not even a good description of who she is. The princess of the Fang Kingdom. Yeah. The Fang Princess. Yeah, the Fang Princess. There we go. Yeah, she definitely has some fangs on her. Let's say that. <laughs> Just the, 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 when, when everything's, you know, is falling apart, you know, like even the fact that her, uh, mo- Nam- her huh? is it Namari? Namari. Thank you. I, I knew, I was, I was afraid I was going to mispronounce the name. Uh, Namari is just be like, like these two characters are just, 
like clashing each other the entire time. And it's it's a it's a wonderful dynamic of how they make these two characters of how they of ultimately they want the exact same thing, but they can't trust each other. Right. When be like Raya trust uh name what is that how to pronounce it again? Uh Namari. Namari, thank you. And uh that trust is broken, quite literally, figuratively and literally. Mm-hmm. And uh, literally causes the world to go into a post-apocalyptic uh, to into Mad wait, Max into a Mad Max world. Yeah, as, as Ryan much. says later on. And I, I let me let me let me drop into the very beginning of the film where Raya is sneaking through this place, and we think it's more. What is she? Or is our main character a thief? Yeah, exactly. No, this is her test. Yeah, this is the test. It's you, like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's be like there's there's so much interesting ways to be like with her. Um, with her, um, with her papa, <laughs> yeah, and it's just that 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 whole dynamic. She wants her wants her father back. Yeah, we, we obviously because with Disney Princess, her one of her parents is missing, is gone. <laughs> well, we and we never know what happened to no, her mother. No, we don't, and that's a, that's a very typical Disney trait. The um, death and childbirth happens. Yeah, it's true, and also it's a lot has to do with how uh, Walt Disney dealt with his mother's death. Yes. So but, that shouldn't affect modern movies, but that's beside the point. It's 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 become anyway, it's become a very it's become traditional, a, dis- a tradition at this yeah, point. Yeah, Disney trait. But uh oh my gosh, the the cast of characters and the the journey, like you said, a journey to I almost want to say journey to the west, like you said earlier. Yeah. But but the thing, if you know the story of the journey, the journey to the west, this is not based on that at all. No, it's not. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, it it, do, it does have that feel of the journey to the west. Yeah. Or you know, like you. Well, have, you've got to go around and collect the, your five mystical objects. Yes, and you pick up uh, friends along the way, just like happens in mm-hmm. Journey to the West. Which, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Journey to the West, first season of Dragon Ball. It's the same story, pretty much. No, I mean it literally is the same story. He just modernized it mm. for the '80s. Ah, uh-huh, that makes sense now. Yeah, in fact, most of the characters, a lot of the characters are that makes sense are now based on those characters yeah, that I've, you think of later on. Yeah, ab- out of those characters. After, after, um, not that we're here to talk about Dragon Ball. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, yeah, they go around and collect these five pieces of this magic crystal that mm-hmm. they had to make. And that was, and it's interesting how, yeah, it's the dragons who made it, but they couldn't save mankind. No. Because they're not gods. No, they're just dragons. They're just dragons. Which makes me wonder, is there. I saw a lot, there's obviously a lot of religious overtones oh, in this. Absolutely. I think it's a very generic religion is what they're pushing here. Yeah. But I I can't help but see it at, being a Christian. Mm-hmm. I see it from that angle because that's my worldview. Yeah. So I in my mind it's like okay, yeah, there is a god above all this. Mhm. Uh he, he set all this in motion. Raya is one of the last true believers of the, not maybe not of this God, but of the, of what's been set in place, what's Mm -hmm. been set in motion. Yeah. And she's the one who, she's the only one who was able to figure out. Well, actually, I don't think she's the only one who was able to figure out because, uh, Namari probably, Mm. Namari would have figured it out too, but Namari just did not have the wherewithal to Mm. go out and try and make this journey. She didn't, she didn't have the agency to, because her family was still fine. Yeah. Raya, Raya, on the other hand, had lost everything, and this was the only thing she could think to do to save her father. That's mm. the entire reason this started. Yeah. So she has this goal just to save her father, and the only way she knows to do that is find this m- thing that she sees as a god, yeah. as far as she knows, uh, and then work their way back up the river to collect the rest of the pieces of this magic so the god can have its power back. But interestingly enough, it's not her power. She no. was not the, the even Shisu was not really granted. It, as far as we know, Shisu has no magic. The closest thing we get is that she's a really good swimmer. Yeah. Which I, but I, in all honesty, I think you could probably say that about all those dragons, if we're being honest. Yeah. But, uh, it's with her, uh, as, as she goes along, she keeps collecting her brother's and sister's magic. Mm hmm. And so she gets to do a bunch of cool things. Yeah. Uh, Boone, Captain Boone is the one I'm going to bring up here because I find okay. him interesting okay. as a character. Why does Captain Boone say he has the boat? I mean, obviously, he lives on the boat. He is, has a mobile restaurant. Yeah. Not that it looked like he ever needed to leave a uh, tail at all, as far as I could tell. Mm. But uh, he says he never leaves the boat because his parents died. Yeah. 
And so he's so scared to get off the boat that uh, he never leaves the boat. Mm. Is what he says. Yeah, agreed. What happens midway through this movie? He gets off the boat. He gets off the boat. Yeah. To save Raya because she thinks Raya and Shisu are in trouble. Yeah. Raya and Shisu were in trouble at the time, but they didn't know how little, how, how defanged, for lack of a better term, uh, the spying kingdom had become. Yeah. Uh, how, how it had lost its spine. Yeah. There we go. Interesting metaphor there. Yeah. Um, cause the only one that was left was the village chief. Mm hmm. Who was a broken man until Shisu and Raya happened to come along, mm-hmm. and it's and the thing is, if uh, Captain Boone had gotten off the boat after he learned of Shisu being a dragon, because at mm-hmm. this point he didn't know it, I would say, okay, yeah, he's just a true believer. He got off the boat not because a, g- a god was in trouble. He got off the boat because two of his friends were in trouble. Yeah, basically his adopted family. His was adopted in family was in trouble, and so he had the guts to get off the boat. And go up there and say, despite the fact he knew he was probably going to die. Yeah, that takes courage and bravery. Mm-hmm. It's one thing if you th- if you're if the god you think is a god you believe in is you know up there and you think he'll well I mean he shouldn't be have to help a god anyway but he didn't know what Shisu was right and of course that allows all of those four it's interesting how it's spying mm-hmm. all our all seven people mm-hmm. who you know, are involved in, in the end, the adopted family, for lack of a better term, they all learn of Shisu at that point. Yeah. All of them, including Namari. Yeah. And at that point, you can see Namari start to break. At yeah. that point, she is right on. It's like, I, I serve my kingdom. Uh, all this stuff. She had, she was a little, she had a little bit of humility because she's the one who slowed them down when they got to, for lack of a better term, the dragon graveyard. Mm hmm. But, uh, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I just find it interesting how as each one of them uh, learned of, you know, who Shisu was and end of this journey and were connected to the path, they were all drawn to it mm-hmm. as if they had been chosen for this, even though every single one of them from Captain Boone, uh, the con baby, whose name I can't remember, and oh, her three months. Gosh, ones, the con baby. <laughs> and even the, the, the Spine Village chief. They were just living their lives. Yeah. Well, here's Captain Boone was just looking for people, uh, people to come to his boat restaurant. Yeah. Uh, the con baby was just looking for victims. She was a thief. Mm hmm. And, uh, the village of the, the, the spine village chieftain, he was, I, I don't know what exactly he was doing when they got caught, but he was grieving for mm-hmm. the loss of his entire village. Oh, yeah. And, mo- and most of our characters are. Yeah. It's only they're 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 all grieving, yes, but they are all just none of them that morning woke. Not even Raya, I think, mm. woke up with the concept. Today, I'm going to go out and save the world. No, yeah. But Ra- after their encounter with Shisu, whether they knew sh- who Shisu was or not, yeah, they were along for the ride because that's just what you do. Yeah, and at that point, they were they were pretty much you know on the road to save the world, whether they could or not, and. Bear in mind, it wasn't just none of them could save the world by themselves. And I would say, had they not, had they not come together in true spirit, for lack of a better term, they couldn't have saved the world either. Because keep in mind, they all got turned to stone by the end of this. They movie. did. Their efforts led to the death. Their deaths, in essence, no matter what, no matter what you say. Yeah. But it was their faith, for lack of a better term, that allowed the crystal to finally work. Yeah. Because they came together. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I've rambled this on a little bit, but my advice to anyone who is maybe in the boat of any of our characters, on the boat, that's actually how I'm going to go with this, anyone who's on the same boat as any of our characters were when these journeys began, I'm just going to tell you, get off the boat. Yeah. That's the best way to know how to do it. It's going to be hard, and you're going to have to be brave. Get off the boat, because life isn't on the boat. Yeah. It's the, out there. It's out there. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. The, a, a good point of like having faith or trust in the fa- the fact that you know, like each one of our characters willingly sacrifices themselves in order mm-hmm. to uh, bring the 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 crystal the the gem whatever it is uh, the dragon the dragon uh, drag I think it's dragon gem is yeah the word dragon gem yeah the dragon, dragon gem, gem together 
and uh, their their willingness to give up their lives in order to do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, this this whole story is about trust. Yeah, is about trusting in well, trusting in one another in the exact same way of faith. Yeah. And as a Christian, you can look at uh, what do they call the 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 bad guys, the Druge? Yeah, it's a Druge. weird name. Yeah, Druge. Uh, you can see that as sin. Yeah. And it was feeding off their sin and growing, and that's what was killing them. Yeah. And a, a good point be like, even uh, the captain says one point be like, it's always been here. It's always been here. Yeah. It's not, it, it's it's not that it's, it, and it come, feeds off the hatred of humans. Yeah, exactly. It's not even the dragons that had, to, dragons paid the price for it, but they did not cause it. No, they didn't. It was the, it was the hatred of humans. And it wasn't until. I'm going to make an assumption because they don't ever come out and say it, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to assume that uh, our uh, adopted family at the end of this, the Raya family, because I can't think of a better name for the group. Yeah. I'm going to say they were the last ones. Everyone else. Yeah. They went out and say they got a bunch of people out of the, out of Fang and saved them. Mm -hmm. But I would not be surprised if off screen, there was a horde of Druge coming across that river and just got them all. Yeah. I can see that happening. Yeah. You don't show that, but it's like, I'm going to just go out and let them say, these are the last ones. They are the ones, at that point, they were, those seven people were the last humans. Yeah. And when they finally trusted, and, and when our, everyone finally trusted, um, Namira, I keep forgetting her name. Yeah. Namari. Sorry. Namari. Yeah. Namari. And then she decided, and, and that's like, Everyone had to trust her to do the right thing. Yeah, exactly. And then they, they she, put they put their faith in her. To and do it. then she had, and, and, and at first she's like, "I what am I supposed to do? I can't do this." And she tries to escape. A an escape route is given to her. Yeah. And she realizes at the last minute, these people had faith in me. I need to have faith in them. Yeah, exactly. And comes back and reassembles the gem, and then allows herself to be taken by the drudge, mm-hmm. and then. With her with, family, with the faith that the faith her family gave her, and the faith in the in the dragon's magic, for lack mm-hmm. of a better term, that's in the dragon gem, that yeah. that would somehow save them. There was no, absolutely at no point does anybody say this will save the world. No, it's, this is the best option we've got. They're they're literally they going had, out on faith that they it had to work. have faith that this was going to save the world, and that doing all this was actually going to go somewhere. And it wasn't them that saved the world. It was the gym. Yeah. I'm still going to say it's the gym. Yeah, it, it, the gym activated, but the gym's magic died. For, for like three seconds at the end of that movie, you're going, was this whole thing for nothing? <laughs> this is a Disney movie. You don't go this tragic. And you're just, there's a part of you wonder, at least for me anyway, there's a part of me going, okay, something's got to happen. Something I'm not expecting. So, the magic's got to somehow come back. Yeah. And I was, and it, I don't think it was anything the humans did other than the humans got the gym back together. Yeah, that was the thing that they had to do, and it wasn't, and it was because they had to trust each other and have faith in each other mm-hmm. that allowed anything to happen. Oh yeah, they had to become a family, and at, at that point, because it's at that point the world changes. Yeah. Now, granted, it's not going to change forever. Right now, they're in their honeymoon for lack of a better term everything's going to be fine and dandy between the humans and dragons for you know probably the next 10 years and then i think the old and, of course, and at that point the old feelings are going to come back yeah because you people made. always romanticize the past mm-hmm. there's going to be people in that world who are going to romanticize about the time that the five kingdoms were separate yeah and there was only and and all the dragons as far as they knew were dead yeah and there's going to be and that's it's going to come back and it's 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 because like, like we said, the Dredge were always there. Mm-hmm. They just weren't powerful until hatred rose up among the humans. Yeah. What caused the hatred to rise up among the humans? Because as far as we know, it was not... It, they didn't just show up. Yeah. That's what the movie says. But even the movie later says they were always here. It's... it's uh, Some of the old stories were wrong. Or not, some of what we were told was wrong. So uh, you, can't, you can't even uh, believe half of the origin story that uh, she gives at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. I find that part interesting that even this more modern take on history that they've had is, is wrong. It's not the truth. Mm-hmm. The truth is they're all sinners. Yeah. Anyway, that's just, that's deep, man. That's deep. It, it, it's just, it hit me while we were sitting, sitting in there waiting for, uh, waiting on the credits in case there was a last minute thing. It's like, dude, this is about sin and salvation in some way. Yeah. 
Redemption, redemption, Redem- yeah, redemption for all. None of all of them hate it. Every single person there hated hated everyone. Yeah, and hated each other. Maybe not Captain Boone, but Captain Boone was a little greedy. Yeah, uh, he was just happy to have customers. Yeah, but even he has hatreds towards the Mari by, by the end of it because they are oh, yeah. towards the Fang Nation, and they were going to be the hardest ones that they was going to have to because all, be all the other all the other all the other nations. Tr- Blame them for what happened. Yeah, they all blame them, and they, they had, and even he at the end, all of them at the end had to believe that everything was going. If we work, if we have this faith, somehow, whether we understand how it's going to happen or not, yeah. it's all going to turn out for our good. Yes, and it also came back, brought back the dragons. It did because Dragon X Machina. Yeah, exactly. Because we had everybody had to have a happy ending, but I feel like in this movie the happy ending was all everyone's happy endings were earned. Yeah, agreed. There, there was no be like the the fact that like oh because this this character did this or something mm-hmm. like it's it's all very well told, very well executed story that wraps everything up in a in a, in a nice. Um, it's very well written. It's very well written, and so it's just. It's an amazing film. It's an amazing film. Uh, I'm. I will probably go back and watch it again in theaters, mm-hmm. uh, and probably buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out. Oh, most more most definitely. Oh, I'll pre-order gosh. that then. Yeah. So uh, in 4K. Yeah. <laughs> if I can ever get a machine that will play 4K, Sony get your well, actually both Sony and Microsoft get your act together. I may be a little <laughs> maybe maybe stupid chip shortage. I don't hate you, China. <laughs> No, don't be it's hating. It's not your fault. Yeah, don't be hating on China. <laughs> Y'all are just everyone's manufacturers. Yes, pretty much. And they're they're kind of stuck in they're 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 as bad off as we are. It's just they also let's not get into COVID politics. That's no, gonna be annoying. Not. And let's, we don't want to do that. No, I don't not. hate China. I'm just putting that out there. I love y'all as much as I love anybody else in this world. <laughs> Either way, uh would you recommend watching this film? Oh yeah. Those uh, if my geek out for the last couple <laughs> minutes did not say that because obviously I love this more than Soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I would. I would definitely agree. This is an amazing film that needs to be watched and treasured. And uh, come hungry because you're going to need it. It's such a good movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Come be like one of those movies that you come you come hungry to be fed. Yeah, in, in a way, uh, like your your great analogy being fed with uh, uh, trusting others, mm-hmm. having faith that. Um, I, well, I find it interesting that the way they're able to. Well, the initial b- prior to the world breaking, mm-hmm. but the the initial disagreement when everyone showed up was like, "Who's hungry?" Yeah, exactly. Because y'all all are hungry for something. Yeah, y'all just don't know what you're hungry for. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Wow, this got deep. This got incredibly deep. This is what happens when I get an idea in my head and I start and I have thirty minutes to process it on the uh-huh. way home. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yeah. There again, guys. Go watch this movie. It's oh incredible. yeah. Oh. Uh, you're th- I mean, would you suggest people go out and watch this movie? Yes, yeah. <laughs> You're taking our friend's name in vain. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Hezzy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just the thought that came first thought that came to my mind. Uh, touche, touche. Uh, incre- wow, epic film that yes. everybody needs to go watch. Um, it's I hate to say it, but. Pr- it's one of the best Disney films that's come out in the last it's two decades. Than, it's better than Frozen. Oh, most definitely. And I'm not saying that as someone who doesn't like Frozen, because I, I don't hate Frozen. I do like Frozen. I just think people like it too much. You know, it's, it's just overplay. Yeah. This is a better movie than Frozen from the outset. This this is up there with Tangled for me. Ooh. I was thinking the exact same thing. And the reason the I story can't, wise and character. And the thing is, I can't say yay or nay on how I'm placing it around Tangled mm-hmm. because I am still processing. Yeah. And I'm going to need a couple more viewings. Yeah. Because when we've gone back and the other times I've watched Tangled, I've realized how good it is because of how well it's crafted. This is pretty close. Okay. So I do want to get into a few more things. Okay. Uh, we did go watch this in IMAX. Yes. Um, amazing. View. It was great, but I don't think it. You, you don't need to watch this in IMAX. No. This is not... This has a couple of great cinematic views, but they're not there long enough, I think, to really do much. But but yeah, go see it in a right normal theater. Pay, yeah. Don't pay the extra in this instance. Yeah, exactly. I'll say. It's not, that's not a, anything against the movie. It's just, for the most part, this movie doesn't... Because of what it's doing, 
it almost does not need the IMAX fullness. Agreed. Agreed. Also, just letting people know, uh, currently uh, we are recording this on Saturday. March uh, 6th. March 6th. Uh, as of right now on IMDb, it is holding at a 7.7 7 out of 10, and our Rotten Tomatoes is a 95%. It's averaging 7.7 7 yeah. out of 10? Out of 10, right now. I mean, that's good, but it's, I, no, I great. It's, it's only been out two days now. There must be a couple of real party poopers in there. Who knows? People are weird. Ag- uh, agreed. Yeah, I think I've pretty much said everything I have to say on this at the moment. Uh, you got anything else? Are you hungry? Not really. I'm kind of full. Eh. Go watch the movie. It's a great. It's a great time. And yeah, I think this will wrap this episode up. Yeah. So uh, join us for whatever our next episode is. I think it's a tangled episode depending on what yeah well yeah this is going to come out before our next full movie thing so yeah next episode is a tangled episode excellent tangled the series which i noticed disney plus renamed to tang they Rapunzel's did tangled adventure because it took me a couple minutes this morning to find it yes <laughs> that, that was a bit annoying yes but anyway join us uh for what for whatever we're reviewing next see y'all later uh this has been drew this is jacob and we will catch you in the next frame Come, Jacob. We must prepare for next week. Prepare for what, Drew? The same thing we do every week, Jacob. Record a podcast! Oh, boy! Come, Jacob. We must prepare for next week. Prepare for what, Drew? The same thing we do every week, Jacob. Record a podcast! Oh, boy! Come, Jacob. We must prepare for next week. Prepare for what, Drew? The same thing we do every week, Jacob. Record a podcast! Oh, boy! So where can they find you, Jacob? You can find me on Facebook at Jacob B. Heron, also on Facebook at Jacob Daily Art Corner, where I try to draw each and every day. I don't get to it as often as I like, but uh, join me there. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Jacob B. Heron, on Twitter at Jacob Heron, and Letterbox at Jacob Heron. So where can they find you, Drew? You can also follow me on Letterbox at GGeorge759, Facebook as Drew Dodgen, uh, my Facebook page where you can see pictures I've taken at Drew's Photo Bin. You can also follow me on Twitter at GGeorge759. You can email us at thecellcastpodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at cast underscore cell. You can follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thecellcastgaming. You can also follow us on YouTube at Cellcast. Listen to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and your favorite podcast directory. You can also listen to us on the Movie of the Week podcast with Jim Heron, where we talk about live-action movies. And remember, Cell is a single single L. L.